Hey guys, it's Paul, and welcome to part 15 of my Minecraft survival. So today, we're gonna head back to the nether, because I need more stuff, and I found a couple new things I thought I'd save for the video. Like, I found new blocks, I don't know what they are yet, but they look interesting, so I thought I'd save them. First, let's just go to the jokery, because I suspect we'll be there the whole time. And I, add, I made some house improvements as well. Like, I mean in the nether. So here it is. need more time just pause the video and we're off don't forget if you leave a joke in the comments it could end up in there with your name on it so and if there's only one in the comments it'll be the it'll sure sure be in because well then there's there's no it's like it's random based on all the comments so don't worry okay wait anything else i need no i brought lots of wait, okay i can't open my inventory apparently right now but oh man it's laggy I brought lots of pickaxes. I mean, lots of pickaxes. Here's the other area I made a bridge to. Oh, I need to fix the uh, house. So I found, I broke, like, I broke a window in the top. I found a really cool way to kill those, and I found out those are zombie pigmen, apparently. They're called zombie pigmen, yeah. Which makes sense, because they're, well, they look like pigs and they're zombies, so. Because they drop a lot of flesh. So I'm going to put a window in here. my window looking out over the nether cool so zombie pigmen you can if you push them off a ledge and they get damaged they don't turn aggressive so they're neutral which means they don't attack you unless you attack them I'm gonna put some of these pickaxes away um let's take five for now did a bunch more mining my coal supply is actually pretty low so i found these new blocks i thought we'd explore i haven't mined any of them yet I was saving this for the video. I found a lot of this. Those I think those are just mushrooms, but this is cool. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Looks like some kind of nether quartz. Cool. There's a lot of it. It's a good thing you can mine with the stone pickaxe, because I wasn't sure. But it, I mean, it didn't look like, it did, this didn't look really rare, because there's a lot of it. So I figured it couldn't be that special. Oops, broke a piece of another rack. Okay. So, it is all over the place. Like, there's some over here. There's not much here. Wait, where'd it go? It's over there. I saw this other really cool thing. It's like this thing below the nether rack bunch with the fun in there. There's a, there's a lot of this nether quartz stuff. What can you, what can you use this for? Oh, quartz blocks. So. I make this back in, oh, so once I made it, I'm, okay, I'm gonna save it just in case. Because who knows? There's this other cool block down here. I, these are, I think these are magma blocks. I accidentally picked some up when I was mining my house. And I notice they damage you if you stand on them, but if you're sneaking somehow, they don't see so you. Yeah, I'm shifting. Not. As soon as I stop sneaking, though, I start taking damage. Another gas, which is. Oh, there's lava right there. Okay, better be careful. I don't know what these are useful for, I'm just collecting new stuff because I can use this as a cool like defense system for my house because because I guess if mobs take damage on this stuff, I could just lace the outside of my house with it. Okay, that pickaxe broke. Uh, there's nether quartz down here. Is it just me or 
do you mind slower when you're on this stuff? Or when you're sneaking stuff? Come on. Okay. Wait, so you and your little okay. Oh, I see. If you go into your in, if you go into your inventory, I guess you essentially you stop sneaking or I think that's yeah, it's so then you start taking damage. And there's a lot of nether quartz here. I don't know. Like, I don't know, I guess it I guess Sally, the more of there is, obviously the less valuable it is. Because they wouldn't put a ton of it. It's like having a ton of diamonds in there. Shift up to here. Sneaking, still sneaking. Sneaking. Wait. I have to go like all the way back up there. I took what seems like enough of these. I don't know. I mean, they seem pretty common, so. But then they can't be that rare or valuable. Stand on this block safely. I've dug up in a really bad spot because I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> There we go, finally found the surface. And what are these? These look to be mushrooms. I'm just gonna put some of this stuff away. Yeah, just more mushrooms. I have another, I have a bra I have brown mushrooms. Don't have any of these yet though. Make out of these. Uh, nothing. Wait. I guess nothing, because if I show all that's craftable, all I get is this. So I guess I can't make anything with them. Or the mega blocks. Let's see. And then. Whatever this is looks cool. It looks like a. It looks like. I don't know what it looks like. It doesn't look like it doesn't resemble any block I've seen in the past. Again, it's pretty common because there's a bunch over there, so it can't be that cool, but I'm just or rare. I'm gonna grab it anyway. Should I guess I should make my It's kind of positioned badly though, like It, no, oh no, I have to go down. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, I have to click that block. Come on, click it. That side of it? Perfect. Oh man, don't jump off. This is, this is risky, because if I ever jump off, or if I accidentally like, let go of shift, I'm toast. What is this? It gets you glowstone dust. Cool. Okay, there's a block under this one. I stand here. Very precarious spot. Wait, that didn't get that. Or that. Nope. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button. I meant to hit, uh,
You're wondering, if you're thinking, like, why do you have a fishing rod? Well, I know you can help, I, like, okay. I learned you can help, these can help kill ghasts if you, like, hit them as if you're gonna fish them, and then you reel it in, it pulls them towards you. So. Yeah, and then this, the nether, I guess, just has a bunch of cool new blocks in it. So I got so glowstone dust can make glowstone. Oh, wait, I'm not going to make that because if I break it, then I'm screwed. So I'm just going to kind of, if I break it, then I'm just losing more of the dust. So I'm just going to, because it takes four to make it, but it only gives you two or three. So I'm not going to make it. So I'm going to put some of these possessions away. And work on the house a little bit, because I do, I know I do need, um, see, I do have this. I just put this window in, I don't know why. Like, it, this is freaking me out. I hear a gas, and I, like, I know there's one there, but I can't see it, which means it's hiding, which is not good. I don't want those guys, I don't want those pigmen coming in here. Because they're just annoying. Because if you hit them, they'll all go after you. Okay. I guess we'll just get more nether rack by digging this second layer out. Uh, I only have three pickaxes left, but I'll, there's like a bunch in the chest. So the first block, I think, wait, no, no. So the first two blocks has to be left alone. Okay, and after that though, I can dig. So like, anywhere else is good. So here. This one is up for grabs. And also, you don't need as many torches in the nether, because even if I put one up, I mean, it doesn't get that much brighter. Like, in the regular world, the overworld, if you put a torch up in a dark spot, it gets really bright. But, like, here it doesn't, see? It's not, I can still clearly see, even if there's... And I don't think torches prevent anything from spawning, either. So, okay, found more nether quartz. Perfect. So I only have to fill in the top layer, so like everything here. You know, I shouldn't put it, I should put it on the wall, like, there. I'm just kind of digging into the wall pretty freely, so... Okay, so, this is level, I guess, if this is ground level here, we have level 1, 2, and then, I don't know what I'm going to call it, this is level 1, I guess, or, no, this is level 2, wait, is this level, I don't, I don't really care, this is the first level above ground level, and then I have 2 below it. One nice thing about digging into a mountain instead of building a house is you get all these extra materials 
from like digging. Okay. We're down to two pickaxes. This one is almost gone. Now we're down to one pickaxe. I have a lot of netherrack. I guess this is how deep, I don't really, yeah, this, this is plenty deep for a new room. Or not deep, like, into the wall. I don't know what a gas disposal represents in terms of a real, like, whoa. How did you get in here? I swear, there are no openings in this house, and... Okay, yeah, that's weird. I don't know how a zombie pigman would get in here. This will be, I guess this is good for a start. I'm imagine you're gonna have like corridors that lead to bigger and bigger rooms, but for now we're just gonna stick like this. I'll call here. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments or anything you'd really like to see later in the series, or specifically anything in the Nether now that we're here, um, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to see more content like this, please like the video and subscribe. And don't forget, jokes in the comments could end up in the jokery. And thanks for watching. Bye.